Hey everybody, welcome to Extension Monthly. I'm Jennifer Davidson, your host and County Coordinator with Alabama Cooperative Extension here in Russell County. We are so excited today because we have a great program lined up for you. We've got Miss Cynthia White here. She's going to talk to us a little bit about budgeting for the spring and kind of getting ready for our summer plans. And then we've also got Miss Helen Jones who is going to be in the kitchen talking to us about our nutrition and kind of getting ready, I guess, for bathing suit weather. I guess it's National Nutrition Month. So hopefully she's going to help us a little bit with that. So um, we do have a bunch of events coming up here with the Alabama Extension Office in Russell County. Our 4-H club is actually currently trying to enroll folks in this really fun program called River Kids. If you have a child who's ages 12 to 18 and might be interested in going out on the rivers between here and Eufaula, on the creeks between here and Eufaula, um, Every Saturday in June, we're gonna have that program. It's only $30. We provide all the equipment, the kayaks, the safety equipment, the chaperones. All mom and dad have to do is sign up the child, um, attend an orienta a safety orientation meeting, and then do the drop off and the pickup. Okay. And we've been really lucky. We, we did this program last year and I was super excited. We lost no children to alligators. Very good. So there was no paperwork involved with that. And we had lots and lots of fun. So if you know anybody, any children who might be interested in signing up for our Russell County River Kids program, you tell them to give us a call here at the Russell County Extension Office and we're at 334-298-6845. So without further ado, we're going to talk a little bit about budgeting. And this is the time of the year in our household where we start thinking about summer plans. Oh, wow. So, uh, Miss Cynthia, tell us a little bit about how can we go about budgeting. Why, well, first of all, why do we need to worry about saving money? If you've got income coming in every week and you're covering your bills... Well, because the main thing, just like you were saying, we mm -hmm. think about summer plans. We want to plan vacations. We want to set goals. And in order to reach those goals, it's just like anything. Just like when you get ready to go and play a football game, play a baseball game, you got to have a plan. you got to have your game plan. And, and that's your game plan, saving. And so we, we think about that as our, our, our vehicle to reaching our goals. So the first, first step, I guess, in saving is figuring out what you want to save. Figuring out what, what you, you want to save, save for. for. And okay. we want to, when you think about that, those that's the actual goal. And so we think about things like emergencies, college, retirement, vacations, of course, and home improvement. You want to make, make some changes to your home. Well, that's something you can't just, I know the average person can't just jump up and say, hey, mm -hmm. I'm going to spend $5,000 today. We, right. we might want to plan roof. a little bit for I it, you know? Tomorrow. So Let's those are the things that we, we don't realize that we just need to do a little planning and that planning is simply saving. And if you own a house, it's always something. Something Needing. is always going to come up. Mm -hmm. I trust that. I've had mm -hmm. a major one to hit me just last week, so mm -hmm. I know that something, something always. always comes up. Yeah, very good. So um, in, after you've, you've decided your goal, um, give us some tips on how you might reach that goal. Well, you think about little strategies. things that you, you would think normally the that's not just a way the, to come up with something, but it's simple things like um, breaking some of our habits, mm -hmm. just maybe not eating out so much. Mm -hmm. I know it's so convenient, but that's one of those simple things that we could change just a little bit. Thinking about when we get those b b bonuses, you may get a bonus, Christmas bonus mm -hmm. or something, get a little extra money. Sometimes we get those tax refunds. Mm -hmm. Rather than just going out and spending, mm -hmm. think about ways we can save those and cut back a little bit, change some of our spending habits, you know. Um, Think about some of those pre-tax mm -hmm. when if we have like flexible spending accounts mm -hmm. that are available through our mm -hmm. employers, it was always beneficial to sometimes use those and that cuts back on some of those pre-tax, you know, expenses. Right. Save a little bit. You there. mentioned the flexible spending account. I know um, where we work, we have the opportunity to do that and it tells us when we put the money in that bank account or that little account that we use for medical or daycare expenses, mm -hmm. it'll tell you, you, this year you've saved X number of exactly. dollars. Exactly. And it's, and it's so that's amazing. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how much you can save on simple tips like that. I would say though on those flexible spending accounts, be sure you read the fine print, know whether you have to use them all up or yes. if it's use and, it or lose it, that kind of thing. And know exactly what you can spend it on mm -hmm. because sometimes you may put some money there thinking you'll be able to use it for certain things and it actually is not a, you know like allowable expense mm -hmm. on your fixed spending account very so. good very good so um give us some other strategies on how to um do you do you write all this down once a month or well I mean, that's that? always the best plan mm -hmm. you know it's always good to have a budget to mm -hmm. do a spending plan write it down that makes you more I guess accountable mm -hmm. because you're holding yourself accountable. Mm -hmm. You're able to go back and look at it. You're able to see exactly where your money's going. Mm -hmm. um, that that always makes it easier. 
Um, so are, what about additional income? Some people say, well, look, I literally do not have any wiggle room in this budget. So is that another option? That's always an option. You think about, okay, you may have some talents or some skills mm -hmm. or even some time that you may be able to offer in, in return for some extra expense and mm -hmm. extra income. Um, you may babysit a little bit. No one really goes to the babysitting thing, mm -hmm. but you may be able to offer baby, offer babysitting services mm -hmm, for a family mm -hmm. member. Sure. Um, and that could be, you know, a source. You may be talented with, um, with your hands, woodwork. Mm -hmm. And so you may be able to help a family member or a friend or even make some wood items and sell them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's extra income that you can have coming in. Gardening. Mm -hmm. You may be able to garden and be able to sell some fruits and vegetables to the community or, you know, that yeah. kind of helps. That's it always brings in some extra funny. And that reminds me, y'all, we have a Russell County farmers market here and we'll be starting in May um, so it costs nothing to be a vendor at the Russell County farmers market so if you have some extra fruits or vegetables or produce in your home garden we would be a great source for you to um, come out and sell your material we're gonna we're gonna have our Russell County farmers market on Thursday afternoons from 12 to 6 and then Saturday mornings from um, like 8 a.m. to noon and it's going to be at the Garrett Harrison Stadium parking lot up Somerville Road um, but if anybody has any questions about the Russell County Farmers Market feel free to call us here at the Russell County Extension Office and our number is 334-298-6845 that was just a that was an aside I just <laughs> thought of that right then but it's then. awesome because that's still a way that they can bring in some extra money absolutely absolutely well any other tips you want to leave with us for this summer for this well, spring and summer when you think of, that's awesome that's the mm -hmm. major tip but when you think about that savings a lot of times it's easier to actually use some of the savings vehicles, you know, certificate of deposit, um, oh, an actual savings account. Yeah. Because we could put it in our piggy bank at home, but mm -hmm. it's a little easier if you're able to access it readily, then it doesn't always make it to that actual goal. Mm -hmm. so. Or maybe not access it so readly. Yes. I know if you put it in your checking account, maybe you then might be more you, apt to. Exactly. You're more apt to use it on some of those day-to-day -day expenses or thinking, hmm, I can replace it. But mm -hmm. it's easier if you put it in a, a say a straight savings account or even maybe a CD, something where you're going to actually be penalized for taking it or going into it early. Mm -hmm. And that kind of helps you. You're going to actually reach your goal at that point. What do you think about this? So at our house, we have a lot of family members and we have several children. And there are times where I've said, maybe limit the number of gifts for birthday and Christmas. And let me just start a savings account for the kids. And that is always it's a good thing because really, and especially as your children get older, and that's something that we need to teach them and it kind of helps them to be more appreciative. Mm -hmm. um, changing the gifts. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes the gifts can be something that we sit down and make or mm -hmm. you can even have those discussions and sometimes they'll actually be more appreciative of something like a savings account in, in mm -hmm. instead of a tangible gift. Or, of course, then if they yes. know about it, for one of my, my oldest, it burns a hole in his pocket just, just knowing it exists. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Cynthia, for being here. Well, we appreciate you. it. And um, if anybody wants to learn more about savings, um, how would they go about like setting up a class well, or something like that? They can contact us here at mm -hmm. the Extension Office, the Russell County Extension Office. We do, or I do, um, workshops and uh, programs for small groups, mm -hmm. church organizations, any type of organization we are willing to do. Just you can aces.com. I'm sorry, aces.edu mm -hmm. or here at Russell County Extension Office. Yeah, very good. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Stay, stay tuned. We're going to be right back. We're going to learn a little bit more about our spring and summer nutrition with Miss Helen Jones. Get on top of it before they do. Every 24 minutes, tipped furniture or a falling TV sends an injured child to the emergency room. Preventing tip-over incidents is easy, inexpensive, and only takes five minutes. Learn how to secure your furniture and TVs to protect children at anchorit.gov. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No, why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Home walk restaurant, need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind it wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, good. French fries, finding best potatoes. No! Russet, fingerling. You can't go. <sighs> Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day.
Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. ExploreUnderstood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Hey everybody, welcome back to Extension Monthly. I'm Jennifer Davidson, the County Coordinator with Alabama Cooperative Extension here in Russell County. And I've got with us our regional agent, Miss Helen Jones, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about nutrition and, and eating healthy, but also not being wasteful while we do it, right? That's right. So tell us, what's the theme of National Nutrition Month? National Nutrition Month for 2018 is to go further with food. And the reason they picked that theme is because mm -hmm. we want to cut back on food waste, mm -hmm. okay? And looking at dates on food so you'll know when to throw it out or when to keep it or what to do with it. And so you were telling me earlier that there are like different ways that manufacturers identify uh, whether we should throw food out or not. I know I just tend to, if it, if it's close to that date on the package, yeah, I'll just kind of throw it out because I figure it's been around a while. I don't know, but you tell us about that and how can we, how, how can we figure out what those dates mean? Okay. Usually on food that you buy, it either has a use by date or a best by date or best before or sale by date. And some of the products that we have here, like for instance, mm -hmm. this says best if used by August the 23rd, 2017, mm -hmm. which was like five or six months ago. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we might have got that out of the extension office refrigerator, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but condiments like, you know, mustard and but, ketchup and, I and mayonnaise would go bad. So, yeah, it will, but some you can go on and use it. But now, this one, I usually say if it's been more than three months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you don't need to use it. Okay. And this been since August of 2017. Mm -hmm. So now this is But we're on a March. budget, so we might end up using it anyway. <laughs> so, um, so this one says sell by. So what does sell, that mean? Okay, sell by. And because this is like perishable, mm -hmm. you know, canned goods, you can use this within 30 days or more. As long as it's been kept fresh mm -hmm. and this, the lid is on here tight mm -hmm. and it's still going to be a little fresh. Even with this, you kept it the way you store it. Mm -hmm. If you kept it in the refrigerator, don't mm -hmm. leave it out. Like a lot of times when people are making items, they'll leave it out on the counter for mm -hmm. more than two hours. Mm -hmm. If it's more than two hours, you don't need to use okay. that again. Okay. We'll but if you but if you keep it in the refrigerator and store it correctly, it's okay. Okay. And this one says used by... August 2018. So that's still good. Mm -hmm. So, but things but, like this, if it's on the shelf mm -hmm. and it's been stored correctly, mm -hmm. it's okay to even use it beyond that day. Because a lot of times when you go to food shelters, mm -hmm. uh, pantries mm -hmm. to get food items, mm -hmm. a lot of times those things come from grocery stores and they put them in those and they're still good because mm -hmm. they hadn't been open and it was stored you know, at a good temperature mm -hmm. and you can still use it. Okay. okay. So what, what does it mean? Which, which one of these mean absolutely you have to throw this product out after the date? Okay. If it, it says sell by dates that are used for perishable foods like meats mm -hmm. and dairy products, it's possible these foods can be used a few days after the date as long as they were stored at a safe temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now for milk, for instance, I take it upon myself if it says expire by March, let's say March the 20th, mm -hmm. I would use it five days, at mm -hmm. least five days after that well, day. Well, and on it milk, is, you can smell it if it's Yeah, bad. you can smell it and you can tell if it's not good. I got three kids. Yeah. We've never had a bad thing of milk in, our, in, the, in the 15 years I've been married. <laughs> we've never thrown out any milk. That never happens. <laughs> okay, but well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right, uh, so some of these other products, let's see if they say use by or this one says sell by. Okay, it says sell by, and that's October uh, 17, 2018. So this would still be good. And even after that date, if it hadn't been open, see, this hadn't even been open. Mm -hmm. So even if it was past the sell by date, mm -hmm. it'll still be good. And then similar to this canned good, canned good. it says best if used by. by. Yeah, because a lot of times, after this date, if it says best if used by that date on the end of the can, like this is uh, 2019. Half time, you can't read the you numbers. Can't. <laughs> then it's still good as long as it hadn't been open. Okay, very okay? good. And it has been stored in proper temperature. Because sometimes you can put them in a, in a cabinet and it's been hot. 
Mm -hmm. You don't want to use it okay. if it passed that day. So basically, the, the, the point of go further with food is to try to get folks to use what they have yeah, and right. not be afraid. If it says best if used by, you have some wiggle room well, on that. Is that what I'm hearing? That's what, I'm, that's okay. what you're hearing. All right. And then another thing, if you have a lot of food, when they say go further with food, mm -hmm. I always use what's in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Before you go grocery shopping, check your refrigerator to see what you have. Mm -hmm. Make a list, mm -hmm. okay? So you won't be throwing things out. Mm -hmm. uh, try to reuse leftovers. Do a whole nother meal in it. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you have tacos one night mm -hmm. and you still have some uh, the taco meat left, then the next day maybe do baked potatoes mm -hmm. and put the taco meat on top okay. of the baked potatoes. Yeah. Just what they call uplift the leftovers, mm -hmm. give it a whole new meal okay. instead of just serving the same thing over uh -huh. and over again. I gotcha. Okay? Okay. And that helps, you know, with food going further because you won't throw it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Uh, and they say also donate extra foods uh, to food pantries. You know, make sure it's still not past the, the, the use by date. But if it hadn't been open, you can still donate that to mm -hmm. them. Because people, there's a lot of people out there that need food mm -hmm. that don't get it every day. Mm -hmm. And so what you have left that you know that you're not going to use, donate it. And, I, and I've heard some statistics. I don't remember what they are, but the amount of food that we throw away in America is really... It's staggering, it's, 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 yeah, it's, and it's very unfortunate because, like she said, there are places where they don't have enough food, mm -hmm. and we, we have an excess, and we eat to Ooh, excess, excess. That's true. Which uh, kind of kind of uh, puts us into the other area that you work in, which is human diet and nutrition. nutrition. So um, do you want to talk to us a little bit about maybe one of your uh, recipes that you use in your yeah, programs? Yeah, uh, the program that I've done here mm -hmm. in Russell County several times is Right Bite. So today I thought I would make one of our little... Uh, ice apple tea mm -hmm. and it's real simple you know and I said well it's getting to be springtime summertime if you want to have something cool that doesn't have a whole lot of calories because this is only like 30 calories 8 grams of carbohydrate no fat no protein uh, only 10 milligrams of sodium uh, so this would be like a, a half a fruit that you can have because okay. it contains apple juice and water and also little crystal light and I've already put six cups of water. It calls, the recipe calls for six cups of cold water and two cups of apple juice. And I'm gonna put, this is a two, two cups of apple juice. And so, Miss Helen, if anyone would be interested in having a um, series of classes on nutrition, how would they how would they go about or organizing? That? Okay, uh, if you're interested, this one particular right bite, we've cut it down to four lessons, uh, and we can do it. Just call the extension office if you're interested in having at your church, in your community, anywhere you have a group of people to come, mm -hmm. we can come and actually do the program, and it's four. Four lessons, and this is one of the recipes that we'll share, you know, with the group. Okay. So we add two cups of apple juice to the six cups of water. And then it calls for just memory. one tub of crystal light. And I use the lemon flavor. And then you can also use just a little drop of what they call calorie iced tea. And you just and that's like just like a flavoring. Flavor. Mm -hmm. And this one is lemon flavor. And you just put one drop. Think uh -oh, I maybe the some? top's not open, maybe. Yeah. Might not be squeezing it. Oh. Might put a little too much in. <laughs> <laughs> That'll just make it more flavorful. We're going to test it here in a little bit. Okay. Um, so if you're interested in signing up for Right Bite or having any other sort of nutrition, healthy eating programs with your group, you can give us a call at the Russell County Extension Office at 334-298-6845 and we can help you set that up. Um, well, Miss Helen, can you tell us anything else? So go, go further with food, food is this month's theme. theme. And we want to encourage everybody to save, save and uh, watch what you buy. Eat all your food, you reuse your leftovers, and try not to waste. 
Very good. So hopefully that'll help us out, Russell County. You'll be able to eat healthier Healthy. and save money because mm -hmm. you're not buying too but, much but, right. and limit the waste. Um, again, I wanted to mention that we have the River Kids program that we're signing up. So if you have any kids that are teenager age and would be interested in getting out on the rivers, um, between the creeks between here and Eufaula in the month of June. Um, just have them call our office. Our number is 334-298-6845. Also visit us on our website. We're at www.aces.edu and you can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. We try to put all of our events up on there. Um, and of course, give us a call at our office, 334-298-6845 if you have any questions or you need any help with anything we've covered today. Thank you so much for watching. And Ms. Helen, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> thank you. We'll see y'all next time.